And to make the Tweel paste, um, what we're going to do is we're going to combine three ounces of powdered sugar with two and a half ounces of bread flour. That bread flour makes it extra moldable, pliable with all that extra protein. And we're going to sift that together. Then we're going to add in one and three quarters ounces of egg whites. You can just use the leftover egg whites from your mint leaves. And that's between one or two egg whites, depending on how large your eggs are. And we just want to go ahead and stir this together. All right, and then we're going to incorporate one and three quarters ounces of unsalted butter, which is about three and a half tablespoons. And we're going to do this in like three additions. And that's pretty much it. Now we need to let, let this, we need to let this rest for at least 15 minutes. But what we're going to do is we're going to chill this in the refrigerator overnight. And what that does is it allows all the ingredients to kind of just like continue mixing together, um, you know, at the chemical level. And everything is just going to get nice and evenly coated. Everything's going to absorb liquid and some of the fat's going to get to different places. And it just allows it to be a better, more evenly spread dough. Now this is a very, very small amount. This is all you really need for at home use. But you can double the recipe easily for a little bit more. In the meantime, we can come back to our twill paste. You just want to give it a good stir and make sure everything's all nice and mixed together. All right, and then you want to use a silicone mat or a sill pad. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a stencil to put it on. Now, I just made this stencil myself. It's about 10 inches long, about uh, 5 eighths of an inch thick with just rounded edges. That's all it is on cardstock that I cut out with an X-Acto knife. Um, if you have any leftover cake boxes that you can't use for one reason or another, those really make really good stencils. And actually, those are kind of reusable because of the material that cake boxes are made out of. So you just want to take a scoop of the twill paste. And you just want to spread it evenly across your stencil. Now, thinner twill cookies are more elegant, but thicker ones are a little bit more sturdy. Whichever way you decide to make them, make sure you make them all about the same size. All right, and now we're just going to pop this into the oven at 375 degrees for about five minutes or so, or until they come out done. And when you can, when they start turning lightly tan along the edges, that's when they're done. You don't want these to get too dark, and they also um, are very vulnerable to carryover cooking, which is when the pan is still hot, then they they continue to cook, so they can get brown really, really quickly. So about five minutes or so is when they need to come out. It just depends on the size of the cookie and how thick the paste was. All right, so you can see that some of the patches where it was just a little bit thinner have gotten a little bit darker, and they're going to continue to cook for a little bit. I'm going to let it cool down on the sheet pan for just a second, so that way it's um, a little bit firmer. All right, so after it's cooled down for just a second, you can pick up the hot cookie and mold it around a container to give it a nice curl. You can fold it, you can twist it. All right, and they set up pretty quickly. So you can see after just a few minutes that I got a nice curl out of it. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and continue letting it cool off. And then if you're gonna use a twill like I am, pipe another dot of Chantilly. Using the Chantilly in the glass supports your twill. And that's it, there's your mint julep dessert cocktail.